Hey guys, I'm Tony Teaches Tech, and today I'm going to show you how to lazy load your images on your WordPress website using the official lazy loading plugin from Google. Now, if you don't know anything about lazy loading images, let me explain to you what it is and why you need it. So here I have a really cool demo, and what this does, well actually let me show you, um, it's just a bunch of cat pictures, but I'm going to open up some developer tools here, and we're only looking at images that are being loaded. So let's refresh this page. And you'll see that by default, 10 cat pictures are loaded into memory. Now, we scroll down just a little bit, and that 11th picture loads into memory. We do it a little bit more, and there's a 12th picture. So let's see what this picture looks like. It's this cat with a ball of yarn. And I'll bet you $1 million that if we go down far enough, we'll see that cat with a ball of yarn. And there he is. So. That is basically lazy loading in a nutshell. Why do we want to do lazy loading? Well, lazy loading actually helps your pages load faster. Say we had this page of cats with 25 pictures in a single page. Normally, without lazy, lo lazy loading, you would have to wait for those 25 pictures to download from your website server in order for the page to be finished loading. But with the lazy loading plugin, with the lazy loading feature, you only load a subset of them, the ones that are actually in view, and maybe a few more out of view, so that uh, it's kind of anticipating the user scrolling down. And as the user scrolls, you're going to load more and more and more. So that is lazy loading. That's why you need it. Let's get it for your website. So over here, I have my uh, serial blog, and there is a plugin called Native Lazy Load. That's what you're going to want to use and download and install and activate into your WordPress website. It's very easy, just search for native lazy load. It's gonna be by Google. It's an official Google plugin. So once you have that, you're gonna to wanna to activate it. But before we activate it, let me just show you the difference here. So this is my serial blog that I'm talking about. If we look at the page, let me just refresh this just to make sure we're all on the same page. Let's look at the page source and do a search for lazy. And you'll see that we get no results showing up. Now just bear with me for a second. Let's activate the plugin. The really cool thing about the plugin is there is no settings. It just works by default out of the box. Now let's refresh the page and view the page source again. This time, let's look for lazy. And you'll see that we have now 40 occurrences of lazy. So basically what we want to look at here is for each image, there is this loading, I guess, what are they called? Their um, attributes with the value of lazy. So that's that's basically what native lazy loading means. It means that there is a new feature that is existing right now for Google Chrome that um, the lazy uh, attribute can be used and lazy load images. So um, there is a lot of concern I know in the community, the WordPress plugin community, about the fact that this feature only works on Google Chrome. and um, the thing is, there is a fallback, and I'll show you that. It's down here at the bottom. If uh, if there is no, if your user does not use Google Chrome, there is this fallback. Let me see if I can actually find that exact code for you. So yeah, there's a JavaScript fallback. So in a nutshell, basically, if your user uses Chrome, you're going to be able to take advantage of the lazy, native lazy loading feature that I just show you, the, the tag that says loading equals lazy, that is the native lazy loading feature. But if, you're, if your browser that your user is using does not support that feature, we're going to use JavaScript in order to lazy load that image. Now, that's probably a, over a lot of your heads, but just know that no matter who's using or who's viewing your website, no matter what browser they're using, your images are going to be lazy loaded with this plugin, whether that's the native way or the JavaScript way. Okay, so I think that's about it. If you guys have any questions about this plugin, let me know in the comments below. If you have any questions about lazy loading in general, also let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you really liked it, subscribe to my channel. And if you do, I'll see you in the next one.